This is the Oval Season 3, Episode 3. Still the beginning of the season. So anyway, we know Priscilla went to, you know, that's where it started. We know Priscilla went to go see the first lady, a.k.a. Victoria. And he was, she was loving her legs. Next thing you know, she popped up because that's what happened. She told her, what the hell are you doing in here? Priscilla just wanted to talk. And she tried to touch her again. She keeps trying to touch her. She keeps moving away. Because, you know, Priscilla, this is the first time we see her this angry. But you can tell she's cool, calm, crazy. Like, that's what she was seeing. That's what I see from Priscilla. But any of that, Jason, Sam don't even know who she really is. Because he don't know. And the funny thing is, Victoria was trying to get her fired. And then when Hunter showed up, Hunter wanted to know what's going on. And, of course... Hunter wasn't trying to get involved, and Priscilla also um, saying, Dad, you can't find me. He said, I'm going to still be here. She said, I'll be in the kitchen when you need anything, because you could tell she do not want to leave. We know she's up to something, and Victoria even asked her, are you the mole? And Priscilla said, you know, what if I am? Well, she didn't say that, but that kind of way I was thinking. Yeah, she just went to a whole different character, a whole different situation, about what's going down on the oval. And and that's what Hunter say. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to bed. And he went to go take a shower. He told her, you fire her. Because you know Victoria couldn't do it. And then we found out that. Um, what was his her father's name? I forgot his name. What's it? Never mind. Forget it. It'll come back to me in the future. But she um went downstairs. And talked to um Richard. Because Richard was wondering. What you was doing? Where you came from? See, he she also said that I came from the room, from the bedroom. Richard knew she was up to something, but she knows she had a different hot side of her. Like she, no one can send her home. Like she can't. She wasn't gonna go home when she felt like it. That's telling you, she just up a new level, just going in. And then, of course, the first lady father called and said to leave her alone, that she would stay here as long as she wanted to. Sam tried to get her out of there, especially the other guy. They tried to get her out of there. Victoria wanted her gone, but Victoria said, let her stay. Because they, like, Sam was trying to talk to Priscilla. She, he had nothing to, she had nothing to say to him. And he said that, we'll talk about this when, you get, when we get home. But, because you know she wanted to go home. Tell him to get back to work and then tell him, you're not coming back here because I don't want you here. I'm telling you, she's still pissed off. She want the voice. It is understandable that he betrayed her trust twice. It's not going to be no third chances. So he might as well just move on. Keep it moving. And then we see, um, also we see Max and, um, Blakely talking. Because they was at this hotel. I think that was Bobby and Lily was. Basically, you know, that Jim Martin not picking up the phone. I'm telling you, something ain't right with this dude. And I don't think I trust him. Something is going to get really ugly very soon. And for sure... You could tell that um, Blakely's in her feeling. Max would try to get her to calm down, get some drink. And he thought, and basically she thought that something was going to happen between them again. But that's not what he was talking about. So I don't know what was that about. We see Bobby and Lily talking. And of course, Lily's still acting pretty stubborn. Saying that she, it's like she don't want to trust him. And it's like she had a hard time trusting Bobby after all this stuff he did for her. And he saved her life before. You know, lucky Carl want her dad. Donald said he would handle it. Remember he said that last episode. And I know I'm going over the place, but basically that's what um, Donald talked to Lily saying what, what you was doing in my office. And of course she was trying to make excuses, you know, just making up stuff, making up stories and stuff, blase, blase. And you know, of course that happened. Um, Of course we see Alan and... um. Not Alan, uh, Alan, Alan, whatever his name is, talking to Donald. And Donald was being cra really crazy, saw crazy, as if he didn't want to kiss me, but that's not what it was. He just, he don't care if you like men. It doesn't bother him. He just saw them, y'all two making out. He put that out there. But I don't know what's, what's his deal, him going back to Ellie, trying to get her to come back with him when you the one that dumped her and saying that you don't want nothing to do with her. You call all types of names because he slept with the president. You got to move on, kid. You got to move on. And Jason, this dude got to go. He basically trying to want, trying to threaten him and stuff. It's not phasing him. 
It's not. He just got to get it all, just leave already. I'm sure I'm not the only one. People are going to be sick of him, too. I'm sure that people are sick of Jason. We see Barry's getting high. I wish he'd calm down. I wish he's taking a weed. I feel like he should have opened the window. I feel like maybe he should have went out and smoked, but if he did, he would have went to go find that one, find his daughter. And he was basically talking about Ruth. And then he told Sharon, out of all people, you call her after she sat with Kareem, and you trying to get back with her, but I feel like he just won a booty call. That's what it was to me. He trying to call, get her to come over, and he think that Kareem was in the hospital, but it was the woman, the man that that moved from Virginia. And speaking of those two, that um he she also felt bad for Dale, cause Dale it's like he all over the place with the medicine. What happened to him? He was she remember he was shot. He's still trying to figure out what's going on. So that was that with them. Um, yeah, man. Next week it's gonna be a mess. He's gonna be high. That's what um. That's what Sharon hung out the phone on him, saying that I can't get with you like that because she she know he was high. And next thing you know, he's gonna be super high next week. When Richard gonna ask him what got into you and stuff like that, cause they know he know he wants his daughter back. I'm glad he's not. Going out trying to find her because he's not going to find her. He's just going to get yourself hurt. And Sharon even said no that he was hurt. She knew he got hurt. And now he's getting high. Trying to, you know, relax and, and wait till it plays out. Because remember, we still got Andrew in there trying to take them down. Because she's on the cover to detect it. So, and that's all I'm going to cover it. Because I don't want to talk about everything. I think that's all I got to say. I mean, before I leave, we also see Ellen coming home. I knew it wasn't Jason. Just like Jeremy pointed out there, shout out to him. He also came in there saying that the first lady seen you to teach you a lesson when you got to put your woman in your place. But they're not together. They're exes. That's all it was. That's what it's going to be. Of course, he kicked them. Look like he kicked them in the chest. And, and that's where the fight going to continue. That's how they end that scene. So the overall was straight. It is what it is. I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and make sure you share this video.